Susan Abrams with Illinois Holocaust Museum and Education Center, and I'm the CEO. Illinois Holocaust Museum is the third largest Holocaust museum in the world, and we use the history and lessons of the Holocaust to inspire our visitors to recognize the stake we have in making our world a better place and inspiring them to become upstanders as opposed to bystanders, speaking up for what's right and fighting anti-Semitism and other forms of hatred and bigotry and indifference. The biggest challenge that I faced in my role in five years as CEO at Illinois Holocaust Museum was to uh, strengthen the museum's financial position to enable us to address many of the exciting opportunities and crucial needs in, in being able to share survivor stories for generations to come when our survivors are no longer with us. And so uh, early on, we executed a capital campaign to raise tens of millions of dollars that would enable us to pay down some mortgage debt that was incurred to open the museum, but most importantly, to innovate and use technology in the most exciting ways to ensure that future generations, your grandchildren and their grandchildren even, will be able to interact with survivors and hear their stories uh, and testimony firsthand and personally through interactive survivor holograms. The strategy, uh, we approach everyone as though they are an investor building on the private sector experience, right? Because everybody wants to feel that they're spending or investing, donating their dollars wisely. And so we made a case for the um, importance of the work that we were doing to to be able to tell survivor stories for generations to come. And we had a portfolio of different strategies that we were pursuing, the most exciting of which was applying um, interactive holography to, um, to ensure that visitors to our museum every hour on the hour now, but then for decades and generations into the future, will be able to hear from our survivors and learn their stories, but the importance of combating hatred and prejudice and of speaking up when something isn't right to make our world a better place. I wrote a business book for women where I received wonderful business advice from 45 of the top women in business, but one of my favorite pieces of advice came from Betsy Holden, who is a past CEO at Kraft Foods, and she talked about the importance of taking smart risks. And I think uh, by taking smart risks, um, it, some of that means putting in place not only plan uh, B if something doesn't go right, but also C, D, and E. Uh, and not just for your one big idea, but for each step of what you're trying to do that is new and innovative. And that has served us well, and I think enabled me to lead comfortably uh, the museum forward in deploying our capital and new technology in ways that have been very meaningful for, for the organization. We have deployed an innovative solution to definitely a a non-traditional issue or problem, opportunity, if you will. And that issue that we have faced is um, the 65,000 students and educators who come through our museum annually and tens of thousands more beyond have the privilege to hear from a survivor because Illinois Holocaust Museum has the largest speakers bureau we believe in the world. But we're preparing for that day when our survivors are not with us. And so we have uh, developed many different strategies from recording all of them, speaking to groups, to um, working with theater companies to uh, bring their stories to life theatrically, to uh, creating documentaries for television. But the most exciting has been the application of custom voice recognition software to a survivor recorded answering thousands of questions and filmed in studios of which there are only a handful in the world so that we can present it holographically in our holographic theater. Um, and the audience feels that they are absolutely having a conversation. So you can ask questions real time to our survivors and they will answer them real time, providing this personal experience that helps everyone to develop empathy and an understanding of our common humanity. Thank you.